Okay, just want to do a quick health update. All right, last night my middle burner got part of the gut hurt, and I was wondering if it was because of um, maybe undercooked eggs with the salmonella, or more likely it's the napa cab napa cabbage that was fermented, otherwise known as kimchi. This stuff, I think this stuff has hurt my gut. I had half of it when I ate three eggs in the evening time and it was not pleasant. I put I applied a heat pack to the area which probably did help because heat is supposed to help for that kind of pain but I've had problems in the past with sauerkraut alright I just wanted to give it another chance I was getting excited about eating probiotics but then I got reminded again that the uh, vegetative Vegetative probiotics is not healthy. The only probiotics I can consume are yogurt. I'm limited to to just just yogurt. All right, I'm not I'm not gonna have to throw away this kimchi. I'm not gonna deal with that anymore. Okay, that was that was a nasty pain, and it shouldn't have come about. I shouldn't have let it. I'll allow myself. I'll eat the lettuce. I'll eat the cabbage by itself. Okay, that's always been pretty good. I just, I want to, I want to mush it up in my mortar and pestle. Okay, some, sometimes, sometimes I could eat it um, just flaked, just cut up in maybe small pieces or something. Um, maybe cooked, you know, I haven't really experimented with cooking it so much. But I don't want to deal with the pain from the, the fermentation. Okay, that causes too much pain causes too much acidity I'm increasing my acidity so it was just it was a just a reminder every so often I need to check and see it because I forget okay I try to log I try to document try to remember but I forget sometimes that certain foods just they hurt me okay as I get older that that pain comes on worse because I think I'm doing permanent damage and it builds on itself any other problems though I'm dealing with cold issues, of course, it's winter time, so staying warm is, has been a challenge at times, but it's not too bad. I can, I haven't gotten really s noticeably sick from it. I'll say that uh, one night, uh, towards the end of the major raid storms that were going on for four or five nights, it seemed, uh, I had so much moisture in the car, and the windows were pretty much all the way up, and... I was having like slight breathing problems. My shoes smell like mold. I'm thinking a lot of other things are moldy in here. And I was probably breathing in a lot of mold that was causing this this weird breathing problem is affecting my heart. Didn't like it. So I rolled down the windows a little bit. I went, actually went for a walk and had some coffee. And I, I'm so tempted to have coffee this morning too. But I felt a slight a slight uh, tightness in my intestines which turned out to be gas again but I mean there's some times where I don't feel the tightness and there's gas and sometimes you know now more often now I'm feeling tightness and there's gas I think I have some kind of growth in my intestines that is not not turning into anything good and consuming coffee might have uh, spawned that because I do believe that that dark roasted coffee is is not good for the gut as Chinese medicine experts say and I don't know if I can really overcompensate for that by trying to consume more white foods like the potatoes and onions I'm not sure if that's how it works you know like I can I can consume more black only if I consume more white I can consume black black sesame seeds I mean these aren't caffeinated or anything um, but you know black every so often certain black ones foods at times to feed the kidneys and then whites I want to focus a lot more on white foods like this that's why this cabbage was a little more tempting this this kimchi because yeah it's got no carbs no cholesterol no MSG no preservatives yet it's it's very acidity uh, there's also the cayenne pepper that was put in there and cayenne pepper is is more of a alkaline but it's not enough alkaline to, to uh, overcome the acidity of the, the yeah the the fermentation acid there, but yeah I'm gonna need to just 
you know, avoid that type of stuff. 